Welcome everyone to the second bonus episode of Afterthoughts. This is a podcast where we usually rewatch a movie, compare our first and second impressions of that movie, and discuss a related topic. But this week we are coming to you with an extended topic time. We're going to talk about some new things that have developed in the world of movies, uh, some new trailers, and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, bear with us and tune in next week for our regularly scheduled programming. We're going to be talking about X-Men Origins Wolverine in honor of Logan. So my name is Joshua Kazemi, and I'm here with my co-host, Coleman Taylor. Coleman Taylor. What's <laughs> his first name? Listeners. What's his last name? No one knows. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome, welcome new listeners. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's what Coleman does. He sings his name after I introduce him. <laughs> it's all I've it's got. a staple of it's, our show. <laughs> it's what I add to the show, really. I like it, and I think uh, our veteran listeners have come to expect it. I'm proud of so. you, veteran warriors out there. All right, let's just let's dive right in. Topic time. <laughs> topic time. Topic time is now. So a couple a couple weeks ago, it's not really new news, but we haven't talked about it yet. Uh, they released the title of the new Star Wars movie. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Don't surprise us at me. Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> the last one. What do you think of that title? Uh, I I I feel like it's going to be a lot like the Last Man on Earth. Mm, where they won't I be. dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I think it'll be the last Jedi, and then it won't anymore, and there'll be a ton of Jedi's. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of debate and speculation on what the title means because Jedi can be plural, or you know, there's lots of different stuff. So I don't know. It, it, it could mean the last Jedi, but it could be referring to Rey and Luke, and so. But that's kind of. Wouldn't you say that's kind of like a cop out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could just be about Luke. Uh huh. And I don't know. Maybe birth of something new, something different than the Jedi. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's probably not cop out. I heard an interesting theory that like the maybe the movie is largely about Luke this time around, and it's a story about him being the last Jedi and trying to rebuild the Jedi Temple or whatever. But yeah. that would be that would be really interesting and different for a Star Wars movie because we they have never really done like sort of a flashback heavy or like time jump kind of a thing. So if they were going to tell a story about what happened to him in between Return of the Jedi and A New Hope, that would be sort of a new direction for Star Wars movies. Uh, I would disagree. Um, <laughs> they've, they've done episodes one, two, and three, and they've done uh, Rogue Squadron. Okay, no, but not flashbacks within a single movie. You think they're just going to keep flashing back and then coming to the present? I don't know. Wouldn't that be kind of interesting for a Star I Wars movie if they had gonna two that. timelines cross-cutting? No. I mean, yeah, that'd be interesting. I don't think that's what they'll do, though. Yeah, who knows? It's the guy who did Looper, though. I mean, maybe that's why he got hired. <laughs> Wait, what? It's directed by the guy who did Looper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rain Johnson, I think. <laughs> well, there you yep. go. Maybe. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know what Star Wars is going to do anymore. <laughs> All right, so bottom line, do you like the title? You think it's a good title? I, I mean, it's an expected Star Wars title. It sounds like all the other ones. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, just like Force Awakens, somebody on the internet predicted this title long ago, and people are sort of like praising that person now. Like, look, he predicted it seven months ago. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, there's only a, there's like a finite number of words. <laughs> Someone predicted it. I know. <laughs> it's kind of like a spoiler alert real quick if you haven't seen or read Game of Thrones, but when uh, someone guessed the Hodor thing like 12 years ago cuz he's been writing those books mm. forever or whatever. Mm-hmm. Same thing. It's crazy. I'm guessing you haven't wait, have you seen like the 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 photo of the new title? What? They they put out like, you know, an image of the oh. new Star Wars title. No, I haven't. Okay, well, it's uh it's in red. <laughs> what? And it makes I feel silly bringing it up because I don't care, but a lot of people care. Or a lot of people are like, "Why is it in red font? That's so weird." You know, it's not in the usual Star Wars yellow that it has been forever. It's it's in red, and the the, the white text is the Last Jedi. You got me intrigued. I'm googling it right now. Go ahead, Google it. <laughs> it is in red. Yeah, I don't know why. It's it's interesting because a lot of people assume that this means it's a different kind of a Star Wars movie. Maybe it's a little darker. But I, I feel like I've heard the director come out and say it's not going to be 
it's not going to be the empire of the new trilogy. That's not what they're going for. It's not. It's not intentionally going to be like darker or grittier or whatever. And he, I think he even. But said we're it's turning be fun, our font so. red, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but don't so worry, it's not darker. It's not more violent. That's not what red represents here. It represents it's literally darker, but not figuratively darker. <laughs> it represents love here, guys. Goodness, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why change it to red? That I mean, that's still making a statement. I don't care if you come out and say, oh, it's not going to be darker. I mean, <laughs> changing it to red means something. You're not just going to do that for no reason. Mm-hmm. I, my mind goes straight to Return of the Jedi, which the Star Wars wasn't in red, but, you know, the title of the movie was in red. Oh, yeah? That's where I go straight to it. Well, mine goes so. to Revenge of the Sith just because. Oh, there you go. That's probably, the, that's probably also in red. <laughs> but the Star the Star Wars part's never been in red, I guess. It seems silly to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Font color. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. 24-hour <laughs> news cycle. Got to talk about all of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> There's a ton of just memes on here of The Last Jedi, but it's Tom Cruise from The Last Samurai. <laughs> Holy <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. I think we've about Star Wars it out. <laughs> the only other thing is that I'm sure Star Wars didn't intend to do this because there's no, there's no reason they need to do anything like this. But I, I the thing I dislike about it a little bit is it's just like, it reminds me of like Transformers, The Last Night, or Resident Evil, the last, the final chapter. You know, it's like all these, all those kind of titles just to bring people into the movie of the idea, teasing the idea of it being the last something. Yeah, I don't like that necessarily, but this is probably going to be the best use of it, <laughs> especially of those two examples. <laughs> <laughs> How so. dare you? Resident <laughs> Evil is a masterpiece. Uh, all right, let's uh, next topic. Next topic. You watched the uh, Infinity War announcement video? Yeah. And super pumped, right? Yeah, so pumped. <laughs> I love directors and producers and whoever else was on that set talking about movies they're going to make. It's great. The writers were talking about it, okay? <laughs> wow. Who cares about writers? I'm excited about it. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> I was already excited I mean, about it. I didn't need to have writers telling me things I already sure. knew about it to become more excited about it. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna not, face off Thanos. Super... Oh, we're gonna they're gonna join up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, we have all these unique characters that are gonna come together as they have so many times before. Oh, Civil War was before this, so they could hate each other. Great. I'm glad I knew all of these things already. It's not it's not a great video. <laughs> but it's exciting to know that they've started filming and some concept art. And I I was excited to see like Iron Man, Spider Man, and Star Lord in the frame together on the <laughs> set. That's cool. Like, whoa. Yeah, that's kind of that's cool. cool. Ugh. Yes. Also, uh, I started watching the video with Molly, mm. and I was telling her about Infinity War just briefly, and I was like, "It's the culmination of everything they've done in the MCU." And then, like a minute into the video, Kevin Feige says, "It's a culmination of everything we've been doing." I said, yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> I told you. Awesome. It's my nation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's honestly not there's not that much to talk about it. Yeah. The the video. There's not too much to it. But it's it's cool. It's Exciting. nice to know they're working on it. That's about it. Yeah. But okay, so side news, some Marvel news. Alright, side news. Um <laughs> You were telling me, just privately, not on the podcast, that you were um a little nervous about Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but apparently they did a test screening of it and it got like a, a score of 100, which is super rare for a test screening. So Interesting, interesting right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll Sounds see. Sounds like it's going to be awesome. I mean, it could be awesome. I've only just seen the trailers and that's it. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And what's your like, even if it's a small concern, what's your concern? I don't know. I I guess it's because of the trailer. I might end up liking this. It seems they're hiding a lot of the substance, which I would like if I like go into the movie and there's a ton more that I didn't expect. Because right now it just seems like a lot of humor, which will be good. I'm sure it looks like a good movie. I'm just afraid it won't be as good as the first. But if they're just like holding back, first of all, I would love that. That's awesome that they would hold <laughs> it back in the trailer and then I go to the movie and I'm like, wow, this is I didn't expect this at all. Mm-hmm. But 
I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's just like watching the trailer once or twice and be like, oh, I hope it's good. <laughs> it sounds like we've sort of switched, switched positions from our last bonus episode. Because <laughs> I was talking about how I was nervous about the trailer not having enough substance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But... Uh, James Gunn, the director and writer, has said that, like, one of the things he loves about working with Marvel and Disney is the idea that, like, they give him a lot of creative control even in, like, what goes into the trailers. Like, he really pushes to make sure that they don't give a lot of it away in the trailers, but they still come up with something that's, you know, something that they can sell to people. So I appreciate that, like, the giant corporation isn't, like, this is the best part of the movie. We're going to show it in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like so I'd, many others do. I'd appreciate that, too, if that is what happens. They got a good thing going over there at Disney. Yeah, they do. I can get behind that. <laughs> but on the flip side, <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> what DC movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, Which uh, is a joke. <laughs> that's how Jonah Hill laughs in uh, War Dogs, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> I can picture that. I'm guessing the guy in real life did laugh like that too, because he does it like about 20 times in the movie. So maybe, or maybe that's like a weird Jonah Hill choice. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, Jonah, <laughs> keep doing that. Keep doing it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, DC movies are a joke. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of crazy things have happened in the last couple of weeks. Um, I guess we could start with the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the The Flash movie uh, has started filming in January. And they just lost their second director who was attached to the project. So they're looking for a new director for for The Flash. And the script, the original script, was written by uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who are incredible writers, who who wrote the 21 Jump Street movies, the Lego movie. They're working on the Han Solo movie. They had an incredible animated show a long time ago called Clone High, which was awesome. (laughs) Have I told you about Clone High? Uh, You might have. I don't know. <laughs> it's an animated show where uh, it, it was a high school, but every student in the high school was a clone of a historical figure. So the <laughs> oh yeah, so the main yeah, character yeah. was was Abraham Lincoln, and his, <laughs> he was friends with Cleopatra <laughs> and tell me JFK. That. Oh, it's ridiculous and hilarious. These guys are great, basically, <laughs> and they wrote the script. But DC has decided to give it a page one rewrite for some reason. Which, you know, we don't know the full details of it, but that just doesn't sound like... Like, why would you do that for two guys who are, like, who have been proven to be great filmmakers and writers? It just seems odd. But I guess if two directors didn't want to make that movie... No. I guess that's what you gotta do. But it just sounds like a mess over there. To have already started production without a script or a director, it just, like... Sounds insane. (laughs) (laughs) Like a chicken... Like a chicken not only with its head cut off, but with its legs cut off. (laughs) <laughs> like, what's the chicken gonna do? Oh, poor DC. <laughs> and then it was announced that Ben Affleck is not directing the Batman movie. He's still attached to produce and star, but he's not gonna direct it. Uh, <laughs> and there are rumors that he's just gonna leave altogether, but that hasn't happened yet. So they were scrambling for a little while, but they I think they've landed on a new director who uh, is uh, Matt Reeves, who directed Cloverfield and I think Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> so he's directing the Batman movie. Batman. We already had a good Batman movie this year, so. Yeah, did you, have you seen that? No, I haven't seen it, but it got good reviews. I haven't seen so. it either. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it too. <laughs> but I was just going to say, I just wish DC could do better because I want someone to combat Marvel. Like, I want to go to two great superhero movies that are from different productions be like man i really don't know which one's better but it's so obvious right now that marvel is destroying (laughs) dc and it's so sad i wish i could go to a batman movie or if someone could pull off a good superman movie which has proven to be very difficult in the same year as a marvel movie i would just be so impressed and i just wish that would happen but it's not it's not i think the the competition would be good it would be fun i think it would be the most fun thing about it is that you have two universes, so you could do completely different things. Like, Marvel has its thing going. They have a particular sort of style, and their universe is, has been established, and they've lost directors over, like, the dispute of, like, changing up the universe too much. You know, I think one of the reasons Edgar Wright left Ant-Man was because um, he wanted to make, like... A, 
his own movie, his own standalone movie. He had been working on Ant-Man long before the cinematic universe was really established. So it seems like he, he's the kind of a director who likes to have a definitive beginning, middle, and end. But that doesn't work for a Marvel-established universe, so he mm. couldn't really work with them. So it would be awesome if DC could be like, well, that's what Marvel's going to do, and this is what we're going to do. Uh, and I, I guess that is what they're doing, but it's not really working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it would be great if they could successfully pull off their own version of a comic book cinematic I mean, universe. It just feels like they're doing a, a bit of both, as a <laughs> Marvel character once yeah. said. Yeah, like but, they've got their their feet in both camps. Yeah, it likes it feels like they're trying to pull away a little bit, but they don't want to pull away from what people are used to because that's too risky. And in the end, it just damages their movies. So, and like you've mentioned before, other people have mentioned before, Marvel Studios they only have to worry about making their movies. Yeah, uh, and at this point, they have Sony making a, a, a small chunk of the movies as well. So they really only have to work on a, you know most of their own movies, but that's it. Whereas Warner Brothers and DC, they, they're making tons of movies. That studio is cranking out lots of other movies at the same time. It's just they don't have the same kind of focus that might be required for something as big as a multi-movie universe. Yeah. It's just harder. For sure. But we'll see, man. I don't know. I don't know. I do know. <laughs> DC is going to die, and then the, our only hope is for them to be resurrected. <laughs> What they got yeah, going now? You want to like go ahead and just throw that out? Do you think they're going to reboot this DC universe? This DC universe? No. Well, I don't, no, not this exact universe. Obviously, with these characters, because that's the only way they can reboot. But I don't think it'll be this exact, like dark universe. I don't know. Oh no, I mean, like, are they going to like just scrap it all and start over? Oh, I sure hope so. But no, I don't think so. <laughs> Put a lot of money into it. But I really hope I, they I do sooner than later. If they if they do that, I think they should time travel and start over with the same cast, <laughs> and then just start over. I think that could be really cool. Yeah, I guess. You know, like like X Men Days of Future Past. It. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just, just but, wipe the slate clean. Yeah, but X Men had a f- at least like some decent movies before anything. Yeah. Yeah. I liked X Men One and or just X Men and X Two. There have been nine X Men movies, and I would go ahead and say that most of them are good. But just good. Good. Sure. There's like maybe a one few or two of them are great, great ones. Yeah. Right. And then there are some <laughs> terrible ones. Mm-hmm. Tune in next week. <laughs> wow! Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you heard about Avatar? No, please do go on. No, I've totally heard from <laughs> you, but yeah, you can tell me anyways. <laughs> Keep the illusion of the show. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not real? <laughs> You're breaking the fourth. Well, art is a lie. Nothing is real. <laughs> That's my Bo Burnham shout out. Do, do we have four walls? Is that, <laughs> that right? You know what I mean? Like, it's not a, it's not a TV show or it's not a video. No, I, mean, I feel like we should only have like three walls. I mean, really, we don't have any walls. There are no walls. Yeah, that's true. That's you're right. You're absolutely right. We have no walls. We can do whatever we're breaking we want. The non-existent wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to break. We can do what we want. <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. Uh, Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Avatar. Go on. <laughs> Apparently, James Cameron is done writing these movies, and he's he's about ready to start shooting the next four simultaneously. <laughs> that's like. That's like four more movies than anybody asked for. <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. Didn't they do the same thing with Lord of the Rings, though? Yeah, but that was three. No, he's one up in them. One up in them. And <laughs> I guess those movies were done before anybody liked them. That's true. Before mm-hmm. anybody knew they were going to be good, they just went ahead and did three. And I guess Avatar is the highest grossing movie of all time, but uh, it just is like. That seems like a whole lot of stuff you got going on. Oh, and I'm yeah. not super interested in it. Uh, four. That's a lot of avatars. I know. <laughs> also, are they what are they, like are they just gonna be about different parts of that planet? Like, oh the first one was land, next one's in the oceans, next one's in the sky, yeah. next one's in the space know. around it. Uh next one's in a different dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I've no clue. I mean either. What's he gonna do? How do you have four movies lined up? I guess he's been writing them forever, so. Yeah, this is, what, eight years later? Yeah. 
Yeah. I hope geez. it's actually Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, man. You know, a James Cameron adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender would probably be awesome. Mm-hmm. Because what I didn't love about Avatar was the story. So maybe if there was an awesome story already there, <laughs> he could just make it great. Yeah. Interesting idea. You should, like, tweet at him. Oh, yeah. I'll tweet at him. Maybe just, just tell him, like, hey, you got four Avatars. Maybe you could spare one of them <laughs> to make Avatar The Last Airbender. Just one of them. Or all four of just, them. Just, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Those. Those would need to be, like, several movies. I know. Hey, I know you spent a lot of time writing these things, but I've got an idea. <laughs> I'm interested, though. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch, I'll watch them. I'll probably. watch them, too. I still enjoy the first Avatar, unlike a lot of people, but... I don't... I don't not enjoy it, <laughs> but I don't love it. It's, like, it's so cool that I wish it was better. Yeah. It's the kind of thing. And that's, that's my issue. <laughs> but it's present. I haven't seen it in a really long time. So again, we saw it. We saw it a couple of years ago in college. Yeah, but back then I was probably just like, oh, "This is so cool." If I look at Unto it now, you. <laughs> <laughs> if I watch it now, I might be like, "Oh, this story is so stupid." Yeah, who knows? It's not. It's not. It's not inherently stupid. It's just been done before. We've just seen it so many times. It's like. It's so many other movies with this cool CGI skin, which is the issue. Oh, so you want them to scrap it to do another thing we've already seen <laughs> in cartoon form? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This maybe brings us to our final topic do it. for the day. Have you seen the Super Bowl trailer for Stranger Things 2? Nope. You haven't? No. I don't believe you. I haven't. Oh, come on. I haven't. I have not. <laughs> Watch it right now. Podcast magic. It'll just be, it'll be like instant. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. I've seen it. Good. And, and uh, it looks, first impressions. <laughs> well, it looks great. What is that giant spider thing outside? I don't know. I really want an ego. I don't know. Uh, there's not enough in it. I don't know what to expect. I hope it's great. <laughs> I like the Ghostbusters thing. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Very good. <laughs> Although there were some, I feel like, some silly responses to that. No. I've read a lot that, like, kids' costumes, the kids' Ghostbusters costumes wouldn't be that good. You know, <laughs> they look too good or whatever. It's clearly, yeah. like, a movie production. It's like, that's a, that's a really silly thing to be picky about. I know. And on on Reddit, somebody brilliantly posted, like, this was my actual Ghostbusters Halloween costume in the 80s, and it looked awesome, so everybody... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I think it looks really cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah. It's so far away, though. Halloween. Ah. Ah, that'll be here, like, in a split second. Let me ask. Do you think Eleven's going to be back right away? You think she's in episode one? No. I had to think about no, that. No, good. I'm glad you did. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A lot of people assume she's going to be. I think if she is, it's going to be, like, the last two minutes yeah. of just, like, her popping back up, not doing or saying anything, just to get you to watch the next episode. <laughs> but it's kind of like this thing of, she's, like, she's probably, like, your biggest selling point of the first season. Yeah. So, to not put her in the first one is kind of, like, I don't know, I feel like you, you I don't know, maybe not, maybe not. Because people, people aren't going to watch the first one. People who are coming back to it are going to watch the whole thing. Yeah. And then they're going to want so. her in the next one, so I don't think it, they'll lose it. too yeah. many. I don't think. We'll see. We'll guess. see. She could be there. She could just be right there. <laughs> any, uh, any like, predictions or, or things you want to see in the next one? Like, more upside down? Anything like that? Did you say more upside down? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <sighs> like, a villain? Like, I want more on the villains this time. More on the... Like antagonist side, mm -hmm. I feel like we've gotten we were on the protagonist side a lot in the first season. I want to see more of the antagonist, both the monster and if there's any, I like I want another human antagonist. Mm -hmm. That's about it, though. I think they'll do great. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That that all that would be cool. What about you? Predictions, wants, mm. needs. I mean, I would love to explore more of Eleven's powers. I think mm. now is the time to be like, this is what. This is more of what she can do. Yeah. And I'm not even quite sure she knows all that she can do. <laughs> I know. So it would be interesting to see her sort of like push herself and test herself and, and see what the limitations of her powers are. And I obviously I really want to know what's up with Will and throwing up the slugs. 
Yeah. So take us there. That'd <laughs> be fun. And I'll also, like, I don't want them to make the hangover mistake. <laughs> In the in the original Hangover movie, it's four friends. One of them gets lost, so it's three of them for the whole movie trying to find the fourth friend. And then in the sequel, they did the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of embracing the fact that you could have four friends now, looking for another person, or not, it doesn't even have to be the same plot, guys. The Hangover Two was stupid, anyways. <laughs> I don't want them to make the same mistake for Stranger Things too. I, I want Will to be a part of the new crew. Well, we'll see. Well, yeah, I think that'll do it for today. So uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. Tune in next week. In honor of Logan, we rewatched X-Men Origins Wolverine. We compare our first and second impressions, and we're going to talk about the larger X-Men universe in general. So uh, check that out. Tune in next week. For all you new listeners out there, thanks for listening. Uh, Don't forget to check out the description where we have a lot of cool stuff you can check out, including some YouTube-exclusive mini-episodes where we, uh, we talk about one topic for about five to ten minutes and we throw some animated stuff into it and some clips it's really fun to watch uh, our, our latest one was on star wars you can check that out in the description on my youtube channel and uh for all things afterthoughts just in general you can go to joshua and it's got all the links everything that you might need and uh yeah hey uh coleman have you have you seen some of the awesome things that some people have been saying about us on on itunes some really great reviews from some <laughs> from some awesome listeners they are pretty sweet <laughs> yeah i mean they they're they're great right? thank you everybody uh we really appreciate some of the great things that you guys have said and we uh we love hearing from you guys so uh continue to write some reviews let us know what you think of the show we'd love to hear it yeah we really do appreciate it we like all the feedback and we like everything y'all are saying we hope you keep watching and uh yeah just let us know what you think about the show yeah and uh if you want you can tweet at us you can use the the hashtag afterthoughts podcast or you can check in the description for our twitter handles and just talk to us straight ahead and (laughs) (laughs) you can uh let us know what you want us to talk about or what movies you want us to watch we'd love to take that into account uh yeah if you want to keep supporting the podcast it'd be awesome if you could share this show with a friend someone who likes movies probably (laughs) and uh yeah I think that'll do it. We will uh we will see you guys next week. See y'all.